TRT World is a Turkish international news channel broadcast 24 hours per day in English. The news channel is based in Istanbul. It provides worldwide news and current affairs with a pronounced emphasis on news relating to Turkey and Western Asia. It is aimed at a worldwide audience and is broadcast via satellite, cable operators and across digital platforms. In addition to its Istanbul headquarters, TRT World has broadcast centers in Washington DC, London, and Singapore. TRT World is part of Turkey's public broadcaster, the Turkish Radio and Television Corporation, and is a member of the Association for International Broadcasting. Notable staff Gita Fakri Imran Garda Shiyuli Ghosh Adesewa Josh Adnan Nawaz Jamie Owen Programs <laughs> 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 In addition to those listed below, TRT World runs various once-off documentaries. Current programs on the channel are Beyond the Gamiya Daily Sport Show Money Talks a daily finance program hosted by Azar Sukri, featuring TRT World's editor-at-large, Craig Kopeters with in-depth reports and analysis Roundtable hosted by David Foster. Roundtable is a discussion program where guests debate the news. Showcase Daily Arts and Culture Show. The Newsmakers The Newsmakers, hosted by Imran Garda, is TRT World's flagship current affairs program, featuring reports and interviews. Compass a monthly documentary series. Compass is an exploration of issues through art, culture, and creativity. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Awards and nominations. In 2017, TRT World was awarded two awards in the Google Developer Challenge for the News Quiz app designed for Google Home devices. In 2018 TRT World was nominated in five categories at the Drum Online Media Awards Social Media Team of the Year Technology Leader of the Year Breaking News Story of the Year App of the Year Technical Innovation of the Year Topic. Criticism Since TRT World is a state broadcaster run by the Turkish government, some Western commentators have argued that it is a «propaganda» channel aimed at persuading foreign viewers to be more amenable to the Turkish government. Following the 2016 Turkish coup attempt, some journalists who had recently joined the company resigned. One of those who resigned said, I no longer hold out any hope that this channel will become what I wanted it to become. After the coup, it became very apparent that the channel had no intention of actually covering it properly, in a professional, international broadcast standard. The managing editor at the time said that he never received a phone call from Ankara trying to frame the broadcast or give them talking points. <laughs> 